From the Intellifluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellifluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Leah Jackson is a mom and YouTube product reviewer. In fact, Leah's reviews have been featured on the Emmy award-winning TV show, The Doctors, as well as Buzzfeed, to name a few. Leah's interests include health, beauty, and traveling. According to Leah, she loves trying new products, but she doesn't like junk. Visit junkfreemama.com for a list of Leah's social profiles and also where you can check out her YouTube video reviews and more. Let's kick this off. Okay. So Leah, when did you decide that influencer marketing was a viable revenue stream that you wanted to get involved in? Yeah, I actually did a lot of influencer marketing back in the early 2000s before all the social media stuff. I was like, um, I did the act stuff. I had I actually had my own agency um, and I met with, I, I did a lot of Fortune 500 companies. I was a young college girl then, so, you know, uh, single. But then, so a few years ago, I was kind of just a stay-at-home mom and I was reviewing products and I was like, this is kind of fun. I kind of miss doing this. So I did a video on YouTube and it just kind of, that video went viral and then it just kind of went from there. So I guess that was two years ago, 2006, 2016. <laughs> Very nice. So have you had the chance to collaborate with any IntelliFluence brands? And if so, uh, what, have been some of your, what have been some of your favorite products? Oh yes, um, Ghost Bed. I've I've gotten uh, now my second uh, collaboration with them. I did the sheets, and those were amazing. Those sheets are like I went camping, and I was like, I'm gonna ruin this pillowcase, but I have to take it. It's so comfortable. So I took the pillowcase, and then I actually just signed up yesterday for Ghost Bed to do a um, a pillow. So I'm really excited. They've been a great brand to work with. Well, that's great. That's awesome. And you've been reviewing for quite a while, so what is the weirdest request you have received from a brand? I had an email probably about a year ago. A guy was like, what is your rate for videos? And so I wrote him back, and then I was like, well, what do you want me to do? He, he wanted me to just do some videos, but he wouldn't tell me what the product was, so I'm not really sure <laughs> where that was going. Uh, but he was he claimed to be some dude in California and I, I'm pretty sure it was porn. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like one you want to kind of go to a <laughs> see ya. Yeah, yeah, because he would never tell me like what the product was. He just wanted me to do some personal videos for him and his company. I was like, yeah, no. That's kind of terrifying. Very. Okay, so in your journey to weed out the junk <laughs> and provide quality product reviews, so you removed a mole, you've healed an autoimmune disorder naturally. Can you tell us about these experiences? The mole, so let's talk about the mole thing because that's like my highest seen video and I was on the doctor's TV show for that mole review. They contacted me out of the blue. Um, I just, I kept seeing it advertised on Facebook and I was like, I have some moles, let's review this thing. What could go wrong? And then I get like this product that I'm probably like gonna scar myself for like and just did, I was like, okay, well maybe I'll film this live because I usually do a review after I've tried the product, but I was like, I'll film this live. I didn't see any other um, videos on YouTube about it, so I didn't know how to use it. So that just, I filmed it and that's been my most popular video. And then with the autoimmune stuff, that was, that took me about several years to heal all that. But with the products, people were actually emailing me, do you want to try this product or this supplement? And I've, I'm very thorough. I look through, I want to know like your testing and how, if you have additives or whatever in that thing. So that was a lot of research there, just looking at the product. And I, to tell you the truth with the autoimmune stuff and supplements, I don't try a, a whole lot of stuff because I'm just super picky about what I try. So, or review. Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, and you mentioned that you took your pillowcase with you when you went camping and you loved it. So on the flip side of that, have you ever received a product that was very poor in quality or you didn't like it at all? If so, what do you do in that situation? Um, in that situation, I, I mean, I do honest reviews. So I tell them if I'm not going to like the product, I will highlight some of the things I did like about the product. But in the end, I will tell you honestly, that's I try to keep things honest on my channel that I do not, I just don't care for your product. It didn't work for me. It just wasn't my thing. So I actually have another video like that. They didn't send me the product, but it was something that I tried that um, 
just didn't really work out for me, so. Okay, and so we often ask influencers, uh, where do you see influencer marketing headed in the next five years or so? And so often um, the answer uh, is video. It's video, video, video. Everyone you know, is talking about video. And so as someone who's had their reviews featured on a national show, can you give some advice for aspiring product reviewers when it comes to crafting a high quality informative video review? Sure. Um, I, I, what I've seen going with some of the marketing is sometimes people are afraid to do honest reviews. I think you need to, well, you first you need to try your product and know what you're trying and know the background of your company that you're working for and your product. Um, but as far as like how they, you need to stay on track and be honest in your reviews and not just say, oh, this is great because they're uh, collaborating with me or they're sponsoring my video. And as far as new people, I always try to look for up and coming products that are coming out or I see a lot of ads for it on Instagram or social media or wherever. And so sometimes I reach out to them and ask if they would like to collaborate. Um, but that that's like my big secret is that's how I get all the views is it's always a product that they do a ton of marketing on social media and then I just go do a video. I order it myself or they send it to me and then I, I um, do a review on it. Oh, nice, nice. I just realized I kind of gave away my last question. Yeah, last question. I, I was going to say, as Andrew said, how everyone's like video, video, video. Where do you see influencer marketing in the next five years or so? Definitely more video. Um, I just think everybody's moving away from cable, television, and stuff like that. And everybody wants to know how this product works. There's just, I mean, there's a lot of junk out there, honestly. Um, and with a ton of products coming out every year, people want to see the videos of the product in action, not by the company themselves, real people that are really using the product. So um, I think more video, and I know this could be totally wrong, but somebody told me that YouTube wasn't. Um, open yet. I don't know if that's the right term in some of the countries overseas. And so when they do, um, they expect more span expansion of the videos and more viewership. So. Oh, nice. Nice. And then with junk free mama, I know that sometimes you bring your friends in, um, is it, do you have other uh, team members or, or do you do everything for the review? Do you uh, film, produce, uh, edit and all on your own? Yeah, it, it's all me. It's just me, so, and I try to on my videos, I don't do a lot of editing because I want them to see me in my element, honestly reviewing it. And I always have a lot of like quirks. I'll always spill something or like, you know, do something funny, <laughs> but people like that. I keep saying, should I make these more professional or like edit them more or whatever? But everybody's like, no, we like it just the way it is, so. Got you on the doctors. Yeah, yeah right, they got me on the doctors TV show. That was wild. <laughs> Want to join IntelliFluence as an influencer for free? It's easy. Visit IntelliFluence.com, click on the Influencers link, and then click on the Join for Free button to sign up. Once you have registered, you will get immediate access to our influencer marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot. You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and well, you know the drill. Until our next episode, keep being awesome.